television, you know, there's still a lot of problem. Blacks are simply not allowed to act and to be heroic leading figures in, in television. The audience just doesn't accept it. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Enterprise. Its five-year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. When the show began, and I was cast to develop this character. I was cast as one of the stars of the show. The reality of the matter was that the industry was not ready for a woman or a black, and certainly not the combination of the two. Um, and you have to remember this is 1966. Um, in that kind of of role on that equal basis and certainly not in, in that kind of power role. Uhur evolved because I was reading this wonderful bestseller treatise on Africa called Uhuru, which is the Swahili meaning freedom. And I walked in with that and for, for the first 20 minutes of my interview, we talked about this bestseller, Uhuru. And um, then we finally got around to why I was there. And later, Gene Roddenberry said, I now know, I knew I wanted a black woman in this role. I now know that she should come from the United States of Africa. Walk and never tire. Dr. King said to me, don't you understand? that you have the first non-stereotypical role in television in a major TV series of importance. And you establish us as we, as, as we are supposed to be, as equals, whether it's ethnic, racial, or gender. The Hebrew so often America has scarred this noble dream. People who merely want to be free, being brutalized. He says, when you are on the screen, you're 10 feet tall. Don't worry about what they do or don't give you. You'll go down in history. I, w I was breathless, and I said, Thank you, and yes, I will stay. And I never regretted it. The question of uh, what is it that keeps people separate, what is it that keeps nations separate, it's a lack of communication. Culture is defined as the edge over which information flows discontinuously. So telephones and telegraphs and television and computers and things like that make it automatic that human beings are going to want to form groups based upon natural interests rather than upon geographical boundaries. We're in actually in the death throes of the concept of nations as entities. So the concept of race will remain, but it's not, I don't think it's going to affect decisions in any profound sense for more than another 30, 40 years. Well, it's the kind of situation, if you were on a planet and everybody on the planet had three heads, eight arms, and big bulging red eyes, if you saw a human, any human, any race, doesn't matter, you'd be glad to see them. So once that begins to set in, people don't spend so much time quibbling about skin tone and color of hair and all those type of things. Class is still an issue, but not race. Next week, Birthrights explores the impact of the Gulf War on British Arab identity.